Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? I wanted to check in with you today. This is going to be a juicy topic. Today, we're going to talk about rejection and how to become rejection proof. Actually, is it even possible to become rejection proof? What do you think? Well, I'm going to tell you right away. It is absolutely possible to become rejection proof. Not only is it possible, but if you ask me, I think it's important to become rejection proof. Important for everything, for your success, for your happiness, for your fulfillment, for your relationships, for your health. It's important for everything. Now, what is rejection really? Rejection really is a personal attack, right? Nobody likes to feel personally attacked. Now, even if there are really aren't words spoken, you know, classic example, guy stands at a bar, walks up to a girl, she gives him a look like, get the heck away from me. The guy feels rejected. Barely any words spoken. And yet that one incident can literally break a man's ego. That one moment. Now, realize that chances are you and I have had thousands, if not millions of moments like that, where we felt, oh, that sting, that, oh, that hurts. And because we've had so many of those instances, we've experienced that hurt so many times, so many times that ultimately we have now decided, you know what, to put myself out there, to go up to the girl, to speak to the guy, to pick up the phone for my client, to answer an email, to, you know, speak up with my parents, whatever it is, it's safer not to do that because I might just get rejected again. I might get hurt again, right? And so we have learned from all these events, all these moments in the past of how, first of all, how quickly rejection is possible and more importantly, how much it hurts. And that's also when we subconsciously maybe learned, maybe decided that wouldn't it be so much easier to not put ourselves out there, to not make waves, to not speak up, to not stand out, to not, God forbid, stand up for our beliefs, to, 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 to um, what's the word? to have an opinion, to speak our opinion, to speak what's on our mind, to, you know, try to convince somebody or convey somebody or, or persuade somebody or influence somebody, God forbid, right? Because the minute we do that, we might get hurt, we might get rejected. And that's when we have learned, it's just easier to hide in a little corner, to, oh, not, not be different, not be unique, not, oh, what are they going to say? And all those other things. True. It might be easier to stay small, to not make waves, to be quiet, to not speak up, to not stand out, because what are these people going to think of us? They're going to judge us. They're going to belittle us. They're going to betray us. They're going to shame us. They're going to not like the way our hair color looks. They're not going to like the makeup. They're not going to like my voice, whatever, all these things that people decide about us. It is easier to stay in a corner and to stay small and to maybe even have a bit of a victim mentality. I can't because because I never was able to, I can't because it's, you know, it's too hard. It's whatever excuses we want to come up with. We can stay in that corner for the rest of our life and not make waves 
and not put ourselves out there and not, you know, whatever it is that, that you actually need to be doing, whether it's in your relationship or in your career or with your children or in your health or wherever it is. And that might work for a while and it might even be comfortable. Notice that word doesn't make me feel comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. It, it, yeah, it, it might be comfortable for a while. But what are we actually missing out on when we do that? In fact, I just shared a TikTok on this exact subject because I, again, these last couple of weeks, I have been working with business owners in very, um, let's call them high positions. They are driven, they are hungry, they are highly motivated, they are competent, they are brilliant. They are amazing. They know what they're doing. They have all the right certifications. They went to the right schools. They have the right background. They studied, they, just like you did. My guess is just like you did. And do you know what holds them back? Fear of rejection. But do you know what also happens when we stay in a little corner, and obviously it's a metaphor, right? And when we don't make waves, and when we don't do what we are supposed to be doing on this planet, which is serve people. We're all here to serve one another. And my guess is, whatever it is that you do, whether you are a business professional, business owner, whether you uh, are have a career, even if you're retired, my guess is you are incredibly gifted and talented, talented at what you do. But if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing consistently, deliberately and confidently, you're missing out on the repetitions that it takes to be amazing and you deserve to do the reps. And in order to do the reps, you have to put yourself out there. Does that make sense? And therefore, sure, you're gonna need confidence. You're gonna need to believe that you are the, you know what? You are amazing. You are brilliant. You are gifted. You are unique. You are special. There's not one person out of how many billion people on this planet? I don't even know. Numbers are not my thing. but billions of people out of all those people you are unique therefore you deserve to be in a spotlight however that looks in your life but if you decide and declare that you're better off hiding in a corner somewhere well guess what not only are you missing out everybody is missing out Shame on us if that's what we do, right? Because there is something very, very, very special about you. And the right people deserve to, to have that part of you that you're willing to share. But again, if we have, there's nothing wrong with having fear of rejection, but holding on to that fear lifelong that's not cool, right? Recognizing that fear of rejection, that is brilliant, that's amazing, that's awesome, that's courageous. But holding on to that fear is what will hold you back for the rest of your life from shining your light. And your light is just as important as anybody else's light on this planet. And you deserve to shine it. And here's the thing, if you don't do that, and that's your responsibility, if you don't do that, who's going to do that for you? Nobody can do that for you. You're the only person who can do that for you, which by the way, then will serve so many other people because you have the potential to affect every single human being that you interact with if you want to. And the way we affect people is our responsibility. That's our decision to make. And yes, putting ourselves out there, it's not easy. 
it's probably not comfortable unless you do it a lot and you do it all the time and that ultimately will allow you to become rejection proof and that might take so long and by the way that's not the way you have to choose if you want to be free of all literally dismantle anything that doesn't serve you all those programs all those patterns all those limiting beliefs that you might have all those emotions that have been like i said fear and resentment and anger and feeling maybe a bit of a victim all those things that are not serving you imagine if you could be free of those it's a breaking down breaking off taking away all those things that are not serving your ego, your heart, and your soul. And when you are free of that, that is ultimately when you get to see, finally see who you really are and what you are made out of. And when you reach that level, there will be a sense of confidence inside of you that you have never ever experienced in your life. There will be a sense of certainty, a sense of alignment, a sense of authenticity, identity, authentic identity that you have never experienced before because, because here's why. Right now, unless we have done this work together, right now there are probably parts of you, like, you know, how many times you hear people say, well, part of me wants this and part of me wants that. Well, part of me this and part of me wants that. That's misalignment. That has to go. See, because that ultimately leads to more self-doubt, procrastination, self-sabotage. I can't do it because I'm not ready yet. I'm not good enough. All those things. And once again, now we're in misalignment. But when you can break free of all those things that are not serving you, which by the way, that's all inside of you and that's the good news. It's nothing outside of you. It's not the economy, it's not the president, it's not the leads, it's not the Facebook, it's not the algorithm, it's none of that stuff. That's irrelevant. When you can break that down, that's when you will ultimately step into the shoes that you're supposed to be walking in if that makes any sense and like i said there is the slow way and the slow way is so many adults go through life lesson after lesson hard lessons learned and then slowly by slowly we grow we learn you know we get our lessons and then we finally oh my god you know why do i keep attracting the wrong people we finally get the lesson and sometimes that can that can be a lifelong process and sure you're entitled to do that but what if there were a much faster easier process where you can break through anything that doesn't serve you and again the easiest way to do that is with the urban quantum healing hypnosis where you know yes a couple of hours is what the investment will take but it is a deeply personal intimate profound experience very specific we, we are going to be targeted on helping you become as confident as you want to be and need to be feeling that certainty inside of you attaining laser sharp focus even discovering what is it that you need to be focused on what is your lane specifically who are you? What are you made out of? What is your purpose? Finding that alignment. And once you get to that level, that's a life changing feeling because you will finally understand, you know, and by the way, so many times I have learned that when people experience this, ultimately they, um, it's almost like they make a decision that they want to forgive themselves because you know we sometimes don't treat ourselves with 
the kindness that we deserve to be treated with the patience, with the compassion and the empathy. And that's part of something like that as well. Really helping you release some of those things of how we have treated ourselves. And just that in itself delivers such a huge healing release that again, every person deserves to have. So wanted to share this with you today because I have seen, again, just recently, so many people experience this fear of rejection. And um, yeah, there's a lot of hurt that is attached to that, a lot of pain, not believing in ourselves. And if you ask me, that has to go, that doesn't serve us. You know, to, to, to have a fear of what other people think of us and have a fear of going out there and, and going after, you know, our dreams, our desires. You know, that's, that's ultimately what we all should be doing. And you deserve to go after what, what it is that you're here for. And, and really reaching that potential and, and, and finding fulfillment in that. Instead of becoming a people pleaser and catering to other people's needs and not make any waves and oh my God, I should be quiet and oh my God, what are people gonna think? And that whole thing, it's like, you know, that, that diminishes so many people's light and essence. And, and, and the truth is, if we let it, you know, we can decide to allow everybody else to make decisions about us, about our worth, about you know whether we're good or bad or whether we are worthy or not worthy, if we let it. And that's, that's a choice we can make. If you want to become rejection proof and you want the fast pass, I'm here for you. Take care.